Hey guys, what's going on? Maji here, bringing you the patch notes rundown for September the 19th, 2012. Under the graphical category, we have first up, a U tree has been returned to a certain training spot within the Tree Gnome Stronghold. The border around the fruit tree patch in the Tree Gnome Stronghold has been returned as well. The prince's hairstyle will no longer cause players' heads to detach. Man, that must have been painful. <laughs> The bare feet cosmetic override now functions correctly instead of replacing players' feet, so hey, no more feetless people. The animation used when failing a leave trap in Isfedar, or Isfedar, ever how you pronounce it, has been updated. <laughs> Using the Scorching Axe cosmetic override with the Lumberjack woodcutting animation from the Solomon store on Ivy has now been corrected. Using the Scorching Axe cosmetic override now works correctly within the Jidinka Lair as well. The flashing new items function no longer flashes constantly once the Shatterstorm wand cosmetic override has been purchased. The cave north of the River Elid no longer goes bright white with bloom enabled. And some height ma mapping near Red Dragon Isle has been fixed. Under the skills and minigames category, we only have four this week, so this is going to be a pretty quick. <laughs> the camera in Conquest now functions correctly. That's been a bug that's been there for a while. Thank God they finally fixed that. Logging in with a different account will no longer sh show the Squeal of Fortune in the wrong state. Of course, you know how to throw a Squeal of Fortune update into the patch notes. Yeah, right? <laughs> the court cases gavel is now awarded when a player completes the correct amount of court cases and it is no longer possible to begin a fire breathing performance while in the middle of a thieving performance in the circus so that's definitely decent updates there and finally under the other slash miscellaneous category we have first up the seal of passage has been given a teleport option while it's equipped the lady of the lake will now have a right click claim excalibur option after completing the merlin's crystal quest the rest option is now the default left click option on musicians. This will also work from a short distance away instead of walking the player right straight up to the musician. Um, players will no longer be automatically attacked when they have entered the God Wars dungeon until they take their first step within it. So you actually have time to click out of that little chat box that shows up now for some reason. The message given on trying to log in with an unregistered device while using the Jagex account guardian has been updated to give slightly more accurate information. Next up, the players will no longer lose their default hairstyle when entering a disallow cosmetics area. And next, the rewards interface after defeating the Queen Black Dragon has now now has the correct tooltips assigned to the buttons. And finally this week, players can no longer act as a group gatestone in dungeoneering without the gatestone by dropping it while the smuggler shop is open so yeah that's um the patch notes for this week um if you like the video hit the like button below the video subscribe to my channel because every week they publish patch notes i will be doing a video on it so i thank you guys for watching check out one of the other two videos and i'll see you next time they have a game update for another rundown of the patch notes